good chance that you've seen a video or number of videos floating around the internet where it demonstrates that if you take a bottle filled with water and hit it with enough force across the top of the bottle, you create a vacuum at the bottom which transfers all of the energy from the water back into the bottle in a directional way and it basically hammers out the bottom of the bottle. It looks really just kind of crazy. But it's also very well known that soda does not work anywhere near as well. And today, I kind of wanna find out why. So we have a V1611 Phantom camera that can shoot at 18,000 frames per second. We're gonna shoot this and figure out what's up. Three, two, one. Trigger. I don't think I got it. I don't think so either. I think I went way above. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger. I think you nailed it, I'm pretty sure. One thing that I actually learned in the world of ballistics is that water is an incredibly dense medium. Like energy transfers through it near instantly, which is part of why sonar is such an effective medium at mapping out underwater. Like sounds that you send out come back with an incredible level of consistency. So when the glass bottle starts moving so much faster than the water, it creates a differential in inertia. And since water transfers energy really, really quickly, all of the vacuums that are formed in the water happen down at the bottom of the bottle in kind of a singular direction. And vacuums are very powerful. So when it collapses, it's definitely enough to fully break the glass. Trigger. Oh. Trigger. Watching back the impact on the soda, I noticed that the vacuums were formed way above the bottom of the bottle. So I called my physicist friend Diana from the YouTube channel Physics Girl to try and get an explanation of what was going on. This is what she told me. What happens with the soda, which is really, really interesting, it basically a whole bunch of nucleation points are formed throughout the soda where the carbon dioxide is separated from the liquid and it creates just an expansion of gas but that gas has to go somewhere, right? And it recollapses back in on itself with that vacuum that is formed. And you see like an oscillation. The explosion just kind of re-explodes again and again and again, but just a little bit smaller each time. But what's interesting about that is that all of the energy, instead of it going in one direction and straight through the bottom of the glass, it happens in every direction in a much more dissipated manner. So it's, it's basically just a much softer blow on the glass than the water is. It looks really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be something fun to test out and see what it looks like. 